the Italian meatballs. Mm. It could be sliders. Ooh, I as like in the these sliders. game sliders right here on pretzel buns. Yeah. Right? Um, it comes to you in 10 five ounce burger balls. Yeah. Which you can't. Well, sure, let's here show. Here it is right here. So you can break these up into at this. smaller portions if you How want. How clever is this? Each one How we pack them is individually cryovac. Mm -hmm. So they show up at your door. Yep. Look at this. So now they're in your freezer. And you say, you know what? I only want to do two, two tonight. Because it's you and your husband. Right. Or if you hold that. Sure. Okay. And then the grandkid comes over. Right. And so there's three of you. Yeah. That's what is really cool about this. Mm -hmm. And you're not exposing the rest of them. Right. No freezer burn. Cryovac sealed means That's these right. are going to stay fresh. No oxygen is getting to these for like a year in your freezer. That's exactly so, right. Um, now, uh, these are five ounces, so I'm going to need to thaw them out just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but right? here's the thing what we've done okay. here, so what, when you open them up, you can press them down okay. and you can make a burger. Nice. Whether you want them slider style, mm -hmm. more wide, right. whether you want them fatter, mm -hmm. it's perfect. Okay. You can take this and cut it into three, and you've got three meatballs. Nice. Whether I Swedish them, or whatever, okay. as you can see right here. So what are you doing over here? Well, right over here. And I want to mention too, guys, these are not a hamburger. These are a delicious steak burger. These are right. unlike any other steak burgers that we sell at QVC. Yeah. These are from Louisiana, and Somebody they are told all hand-trimmed, hand-rolled, delicious, yummy steak burgers. Somebody told me that you love meatballs. Yes, I do. So I left them. Almost as much as my husband. Okay, look at this. <laughs> so you, a meatball sandwich. Yeah. Now you can, if you want, if you want to put provolone cheese, mm. if you want to leave it open faced. <laughs> See, folks, the, the thing about this is that you can get <laughs> as creative as you want. Is but that I, on garlic bread? Yes, but I just want I you to taste you. the burger. All I right. want you to just. If I Go was ahead. at home, I would actually make that a sandwich and bite it. Yes. But since I don't want to get I have to protect the you. gravy all over my That's shirt. That's exactly right. I have to protect I'm you. I'm just going to take a little bite of this. Let right. me just taste. But can you see the versatility of these? Mmm. Oh. Mmm. That really fresh. You got a happy bump. Woo! Happy dance. Mmm. That, that was re really I good. Love it. That really fresh, fresh. Okay. And no little parts is parts in there. No, it's no, no. all okay. yummy, melt in your mouth beef. Okay. Mm, that's good. <clears throat> now, earlier, well, that is good. you and I were over there in our everyday pan. Right. And I put some cheese. Mm. By the way, this pan is sold out, but if you got it, look at all the burgers you can fit in there. Well, watch this. So now here's the ultimate of the resistance for us to <laughs> you. Okay. I'm just doing a cheeseburger. I love it. And you put a, did you put an onion ring and a tomato on that? God. Don't get it on you. I love this, I will man. get in trouble. Does anybody dare me to bite this burger right I now? I dare you. Wait TV? a minute. Wait, let me come under here. <laughs> this is my bib. Ready? <laughs> mm. Look at the juice coming out of that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. That is good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's that's the resistance right that there. That is so good. Exactly. It's like folks. Oh man. Right. I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take off. That's pan. the best burger I ever been into. I am kidding you not. It is that such is good so beef. That is so good. Mm. My friends at Louisiana, uh, growing this is just doing an amazing, amazing job. Okay, I know the crew is gonna be <laughs> happy, happy here in a minute. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you guys. Whoever is moving this table around after this presentation, you better yeah. dive on that and, tray and of they're burgers. Already, and they're already <laughs> saying so upstairs good. in the control tower, mm. you better not forget us. Mm. So this breaks down to about <clears throat> $5.99 per burger. But remember, you don't have to just think of the, this as 10 burgers because yeah. they're large. And you can break them up into meatballs or yeah. into smaller burgers or That's sliders. That's exactly what I do. Um, you could even break them up and do like a chili or something. Whatever you well, use. Well, what I do, what I do is I take these and mm -hmm. I... What I'll do is I'll, cu I'll cut them in half, mm -hmm. and I, I shape them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, not like a, a meatball, but I shape them. Yeah. And then I, I, I brown them, and then tons of onions, yeah. a little bit of celery, mm -hmm. and I make like a Salisbury steak. Ooh, and it is so yum. good on, like, mashed potatoes or pureed yeah. cauliflower. I'm a big cauliflower person. I know. Yes, yeah. yes. It's a nice substitute for mashed potatoes, Again, too. how they come packaged right at your door is in this great box but as you can see mm -hmm. as Carolyn was telling you look at how they're packaged individual but remember yeah. these are big burgers yes, these are, are each five ounce burgers so I mean remember you can make them into one large burger as Emerald said thaw them out smash them down make them into a patty shape right but then you can cut them in halves or thirds make meatballs you didn't tell us about your Swedish meatballs well you know what do you have a recipe for that in your cookbook I, I, I do but okay. let me show you this okay so look so now I sort of have that 
Salisbury steak. Yes. Swedish meatball thing going on. Uh huh. Okay, look, I want to show you. The, look, see what, oh, what I did what with them, folks? Did. Okay, so now mm. you might say, look, look at that. I have four of them for yeah, dinner. Right. And I'm letting them, I'm letting them just get nice and happy. Mm. But now I say, you know what? I don't want to put them on mashed potatoes. Right. Because tonight, tonight I'm in the mood for pasta. Pasta. So look at this. I'm going to take the penne, right inside of our Salisbury steak. Saucepan. Right, right in here. Yum. Okay, and and look, I, I know I have a, I have a plate coming over. <laughs> I'll go get it. Yeah, yeah. Look, I have a plate <laughs> coming over. We're gonna just. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, a big plate. Oh, I thought he meant yeah. a plate just for me. Oh yeah, because now look at this. <laughs> now we're gonna. I brought my own plate. <laughs> <laughs> and it's coming. Look, we're gonna put the lid on it for a minute. Okay. The the burgers are absolutely just. Here, look, Jerry, I'm just I'll get that from you. them like that. Thanks, sir. Okay. And you Here's have what you said. Now I've taken five dollars. Yes. And I've turned it into a meal. Jerry, could you slyly hide that hamburger for me for after my shift? <laughs> <laughs> but there's your platter, so okay. you can d dish that out. Well, thank you. The, the <laughs> great thing that I love about penne is that it goes the sauce and the gravy is going to go all inside there. So here's what oh, we're going to do man. now. We're going to take this now. Oh, look at this. Because oh. penne's like little tubes of oh, gravy look, now. Look at this. So we have one. Salisbury steak, and then we have two Salisbury steaks. Mm. Oh yeah, and then we have, and then we have three, and, and we have four. the four. But then here's the great thing that I like. So now, if, at least in my house, I got to say, okay, kids, now it's time. I would put this back on the stove like that. Yeah. Okay, now it's time. And then when they come, then I just give it a last, oh, a so last bit of that. Oh yeah. Yeah, isn't that? Doesn't that look good? Wow. I know. And wow, Kenny. Wow, what a great chef you are. And I have to say, Kenny. I have to say, Kenny.